How's it going, guys? So, um, let's have a quick conversation about Michael Bisping and his upcoming fight versus uh, George St. Pierre and uh, Michael Bis and Bisping's plan for George and a possible spy at uh, Dual Card Boxing. Okay. So, um, recently Michael Bisping was on his his podcast, the uh, Believe You Me podcast, and the discussion between what's going to happen between his fight and George St. Pierre, which is coming up in just a bit over a month at uh, Madison Square Garden on November 4th. And Michael's like, you know what, George, I I, I know what you've been up to. You've been training at the um, the wildcard boxing gym and I, I have people watching you. I know what you're up to. I, I know that you you've been you have been been hit, hit, hitting the pad, and then after all, after all that's being said, he's like, you know what? It's and he 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 ended by saying it's um it's a public domain, and what that means is that he can send people there to the gym, and just watch him prepare and prep, and that's essentially his spy. So according to him, on his um believe you believe you me podcast. And also that when he was working on the the UFC fight night with, as a Fox and uh, analysis, there is a <laughs> there is some um, there's a chance. I don't know if this is for real or I don't know if this is just I, I don't know if these guys are just messing around. You know, I think they're just messing around. But um, but how? However, he also stated that there th there might be a chance. Of him moving up to the light heavyweight division and fight Daniel Cormier. So yeah, because um, that's one thing that him and Daniel has been joking around, joking around. And if you guys don't know, um, Michael Bisping he used to compete at light heavyweight, and he's fifteen and zero, which is quite impressive. Okay, so let's get back to Michael Bisping and um, the spy that he might potentially have at the wildcard wildcard boxing, and. So and then and then things are like, um, what's your plan, like Michael? What's your plan? What's your plan? What's your approach? What's your game plan towards um George, toward uh, fighting George? And his response was, I don't know if this was a question, but here's his response anyway. Uh, Michael's like, and this is a quote. I I wrote this down. He said he said this is him. I quote, I'm gonna stand. Okay, let's start over again. I'm going to stand right in front of him. I'm going to plant my foot. I'm going to walk him down. Put on, put him on back foot. That's part of the quote. And I'm going to knock him out in the first round. You have my word. End quote. From Michael Bisping. Okay. You know what? Well, you can't really argue against that. I mean, he did, he did knock out Luke Rockhall. And no one saw that coming. I did. I put money on him. I won. <laughs> Luckily I won. So yeah. And you know Michael, you are the champ. This is it's not just another fight. This fight to you is this is what it is. This is essentially the biggest biggest pit of your life and this is the biggest fight of your life. Because if if you win this the odds of you being in the U UFC Hall of Fame Hall of Hall of Fame is essentially lock. As so right now, I believe that the odds of you being in there, is, it's good, but it's not locked. Because if you beat George St. Pierre, you will essentially, within the span of, what, a year? A year and a bit? You have beaten Anderson Silva, captured the middleweight title in less than, week, than a week notice, if not a week notice. Let's say about a week notice. Defend, um, defend your title versus Dan Henderson, a legend of the sport, and you you will be beating George St. Pierre, the third legend. Like you beat three legends in the span of about eighteen months, and you have beaten three of the best or the greatest of all time. George St. Pierre, the best of uh, the welterweight, Anderson Silva, the best middleweight of all time, and Dan Henderson. You know, guys, I can see I can Dan Dan Henderson's a legend because. This is why he held two simultaneously at the same time, pride belts, pride um, light heavyweight and pride uh, 
mi middleweight belt at the same time, which is ridiculously that's that's amazing. And you beat all these three guys in less than eighteen months or eighteen months roughly. So, yeah. And after that's being said, I'm looking forward to this fight. I don't have a favorite in this fight. I'm just, I'm just here. I'm, I'm just here to watch the fight. I'm just along for the ride, and I can't, I can't wait. Okay, okay, guys. Um, thank you for listening. If you have not, please um comment, rate, and subscribe. And yeah, I would love to hear from you guys. Tell me what you think in the comment section below, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you very much for listening, and take care. <laughs>